Yeah, hello friends. I recently been to one of the interview uh, on UA Path RPA. So I am going to share my interview experience here. So uh, let me get started. I myself, Karthik, I usually upload videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you are new here, consider subscribing it. So uh, the interview went really well. There were actually four technical loans they have taken. So I am going to uh, tell you what is the experience and how I felt. And what sort of scenarios they have asked me, and they have asked some some of the few interesting scenarios as well. So we'll going to discuss here. So the first question will be like uh, they ask me like uh, let's say you have a web page where uh, one of the link is one of the link link position is dynamically changing in the page. Dynamically changing in the page. Then how will you identify and how will you click on that particular link? Okay, so so here uh, they they are saying like they have one web page and in that web page one of the link one of the link is changing its position dynamically. Then how will you identify that element and how will you click on it? If that element is not there, then how will you uh, how will you going to uh, how will you going to handle that scenario? And if the background is also changing, background of the screen in once is a yellow once is a red once it is a green so how will you ident uh, how will you uh, write a workflow so that it is handling all those scenarios okay so that is a once one question dynamically changing how will you identify okay then the second question this is actually very interesting so they have a one pdf document that is of uh, that is of length is unknown okay that means here uh, length is going to vary dynamically so you don't know exactly uh, exactly uh, this this document is uh, it might be having five pages another document might uh, will have 10 pages okay so here how uh, how the question will be like each one uh, they will be having uh, some some name there uh, let's say you have written uh, you have a form and you have taken a screenshot of it so the pdf will contains a screenshot of those okay so uh, what they are trying to ask me is like you just extract one letter and uh, one one word in that in that uh, in that particular page that like that you will be having couple of pages then how you are going to uh, uh, how you are going to split all the pages and each page you have to save it by that name okay that is a scenario they were asking me so this is this is really i i felt really interesting so length is unknown that means its length is dynamically changing okay so let's say you have 14 pages so the you should have you should so each page will have each page will have a name that means one particular column particular uh, particular id i can say okay so take each page and save 14 different pdf okay so 14 pdfs will have 14 pdfs you will be having it okay that is a uh, that is a question okay so another another web page and uh, sorry another pdf will have uh, some eight pages so you have to save it as 18 pdfs with that name that is uh, one constant one different name that is present in the page okay the scenario i felt is really interesting so he's told me like you split pdf activity which i need to explore okay so i'll be doing couple of videos on that as well um, so here yeah, this one also i'll be first scenario i'll be doing a videos on that okay uh, i'll be uploading few videos on that as well so next uh, third question is like you have uh, two notepad applications notepads are uh, open on the on the screen notepads open on the screen and both are uh, both have uh, no uh, what you can say is untitled untitled dot txt okay that means the uh, both names are untitled dot txt and you are dynamic selectors dynamic um, dynamic selector you given as star dot txt okay star one notepad is at the foreground and the notepad is at the background so when the bot is running which notepad it will enter the data or which notepad it will consider okay 
So what they are trying to say is like there were two node pairs, one is in the foreground, one is in the background and both are having an untitled .txt as a name. Okay, so there is no name and dynamic selector is like star.txt. So it will identify both the things. So which one it is going to write? Obviously it is going to write the one which is in the foreground. Okay, that is a, that is a question. It's a very simple question as well. So that is, that is a question he asked me and uh, uh, yeah, this is one the one. I will be making a couple of videos on that as well. So read the mails from from specific person person and specific person how I'm going to read the mails from the specific person and the second one is like how I have to how I will delete delete the mails from the specific person okay specific person so they will be saying like in a two so from where I am getting the mail I'm going to extract all the mails and I'm how I'm going to delete all the mails using webpath RPA okay this is I'll be going to make few videos on that as well so and uh, the basic questions like what projects what project you have implemented implemented and how many bots are uh, up and running are up and running and uh, are there attained are unattained boats okay that is the common question you can expect everywhere and uh, and yeah this is again becoming a common question it's like what are the uh, standards are the standards ground rules standards I can say standards you are following so it will be like uh, naming convention I'll be I told him like naming convention is a one thing I followed and uh, if the input is coming from the if the for all the input workflows I'll be putting them in an input folder and uh, all, the, all the output workflows I'll be putting them in output folder that output folder and processing will be in a processing folder so it will be like a folder folder management and uh, naming uh, yeah naming of the each activity in the way I'm using the file, I'll be making sure I'm I'm putting that in a try catch block just in case the file is not available. So these are the these are the some standards I have followed. I explained him and uh, another one. This is related to the process related. So uh, your bot is running in the production. Some issue, some issue is there, is there. Okay, on that bot, that bot. Okay, so. What is the process that you are going to do upon it? Okay, okay. So I told him like depends on the depends on the uh, uh, priority of that particular board. So the we have a support team. They the support team will be raising uh, uh, tickets. Uh, so depends on the SLS we are going to handle that one. So this is another uh, different question I found and uh, uh, yeah. And another one is like this is again good question. Um, you have send hotkeys send hotkeys and uh, which one you and the browser browser uh, browser recordings okay so you can do the activity let's say some activity you have so you can do that with browser recordings or browser things and you can achieve the same thing with send hotkeys okay so which one will you prefer so I told him like I'll be going for the browser recording or the other browser related thing. If I cannot able to handle that with any other option, so then if there is only option of uh, doing the shortcut keys. Then I'll be going for send hotkeys here because send hotkeys will will be like whatever that is uh, presented on the screen uh, only it will perform so unfortunately that application some other application is on the foreground is there so even if you do this send activities it's not going to work out okay so i told him like let's say you have a notepad which is open and you're trying to close uh, you're trying to save it with the control s okay and uh, that's a send activity that you have sent okay so what happens uh, some other process is uh, running at the same time and something came in the foreground let's say some PDF uh, page came in the foreground and our notepad went in the background so this control S will be applied on the PDF page instead of it is applying on the notepad so I told him like if it is if we can achieve that with other activities I'll go with other 
if I don't have any other option, then I'll be going with send activities. Okay, that's the thing I told him. And he asked me like, did you worked on the in the Citrix Citrix recordings and when you will go for the Citrix recordings? Okay, so I told him like. Uh, uh, this will be usually on the VMs only so uh, where if uh, UiPath is not installed on that machine but I want to automate that particular uh, application that is there in the VM I'll be going for this Citrix where element will be identified as an image and I don't have a uh, no selectors will be a applied on it okay so that is a, that is a one question and another question which is again an interesting one uh, again a Citrix related thing only so he asked me like uh, she asked me like is other uh, this I think is a third one okay so she asked me like I want to open an application let's say calculator application I'm opening from the Citrix and uh, uh, so let me write here I'll see application opening in Citrix application open in Citrix Citrix and I'll be doing some operations okay let's say six minus two is equal to four okay so six minus 2 that means number operator number I'll be doing it okay and how will you do that activity okay she asked me this question I told her like I am using so launching an application here there were two different things first of all I need to oh, see how I can launch application application once launching is done then I have to identify identify the uh, elements on that application okay on that application these are the two scenarios here so launching an application will be like if that particular application is doing is there in the desktop I'll be doing the double click if not then I'll be giving some shortcut keys uh, so I'll be sending these hot keys to load that particular element okay so that is a one way to launch an application okay once that is done then identifying that elements that means six minus that is a number operator number and I'll be getting the results okay that is the one thing so identifying that identify means that means here type into activity identify and type that value here okay so she she said like there is a one option called empty field okay so I have once what she is saying like empty field she is applying for applying for six that is a number and again for the operator operator okay that is a here in this case minus she is applying empty field uh, on operator as well select that empty field for identifying that particular uh, operator as well then she is doing uh, empty field and uh, empty field on the number as well okay so she is saying I am getting the value 0 why it is okay so I told her like uh, first of all, you are identifying that upper, that number that is six, and you are clicking on that empty field. So whenever that you are identifying that element, whatever that is there in there, that means type into the all the data will be flushed out, and the new data will come. So the six will come there, and when you are operator, when you are identifying this operator, you are again uh, selecting that empty field. So all the data will be flushed out. So no data you will be having there. Minus will be there again uh, when you are doing this this empty field again the same thing number again you are doing this empty field again the same thing will happen so in that case what i will be doing is like first operate first uh, number that six i will be clicking on that uh, empty field for remaining things i am not going to click on that empty field i told her she felt good okay then the 12 to 1 is this is a uh, one video i have actually made so she is saying like she is having two sheets okay so there is a one common column common column um, on the on the both the sheets on the both sheets based on this common column she wants to extract the data uh, uh, from the second sheet to the first sheet or else uh, yeah for second sheet to the first sheet okay so in the first sheet she is having three columns let's say id first name and last name and the second sheet she is having id and location so in the end she wants like id first name last name and location how you are going to get that so she asked me that i could explain it i have i have prepared a video in my playlist as well 
and there's another implementation other approach also we can do in my video which i implemented i used invoke code activity here you can do select as well so i explain with a select uh, approach and i'm going to implement that as a video uh, on the same scenario as well so uh, i'll be uploading that in, in a soon so this is my experience guys uh, i hope it's it's useful for you people uh, as well so if you like if you find it informative please subscribe to my channel and like share and subscribe thank you